Hello everyone, this is my small plot in a small allotment in North Surrey. I've had this plot since June 2017. Although there were raised beds when I came here, the soil here was pretty awful and I've more or less changed it all and there were hardly any worms when I came here and now there are plenty and I do rate a soil on how many worms it has. These two raised beds here I had to make myself. I'm not very handy and so many thanks to, I think it's Rachel of Colliery Garden who told me how to do it. Here I have garlic, we have Carcassonne white which came up very quickly and Provence white which took ages to come up. I did protect them for a short while with some netting from the birds and from the foxes but since I've taken the netting off the deer foxes have <laughs> been playing up and running through and breaking some of the little shoots so I've had to put these sticks at an angle and they also do love playing with labels and pull them up and enjoy themselves. On the next bed is my new um, strawberry patch which um, consists of strawberries such as Malwina Gary Gett and a few others and um, Frau Mietze Schindler which I'll see how that goes and then that's my main strawberry bed which um, I should have cut the uh, blossoms off last year and not let them flower or fruit but I'm afraid the strawberries went down my gullet very quickly these I won't touch over here is Tritilea Tritilea laxa it's a beautiful a blue flower which is about um, a foot high and the year before last on someone else's plot it was blooming for about six weeks last summer because of the heat it went over very quickly but she very kindly gave me some little bulbils or corms and so I'm hoping in a year or two to have those lovely flowers here is a plant that is as common as muck but I adore it it's um, it's a double fever few and it has an aroma to me that smells a bit like cat's piss but I love it because it's a memory smell and it takes me back and it was such a wonderful flush of flowers and I thought once I'd cut it off I'd have one or two flowers again but I didn't, I had a second enormous flush of flowers and then a bit of thyme. Coming over to the strawberry patch, I'm not going to talk about strawberries today but in the middle is a space where someone had grown horseradish and it just keeps coming up. It goes down in winter, it comes up in the spring and it's a fight to kill it off. These strawberries here are Florence and the ones down there are something else which I can't remember at the moment. Uh, marshmallow, that's right. These three little shrubs are blackcurrant, bensarek and I've grown them from cuttings myself didn't have too much last year, but I expect to get much more this year. Those flowers down there are Echium vulgari. They grow quite high, also called um, uh, Viper's bugloss, and the bees just love them, so I will keep growing them as well as borage, and everyone around here grows borage. This last black currant was given to me again by uh, allotment, allotment here fellow allotment here and it's Big Ben and I know it grows very large and it gets a bit um, it starts the branches start to fall out so I when that grows I will tie it up over here are um, some lettuces winter density I believe as you can see this one has been eaten by slugs and this is just a reminder you probably all know by now that um, metaldehyde those blue little uh, tablets, pills, whatever you call them, um, are going to be uh, banned from 2020, spring of 2020. The next six months you can buy them and then um, you can use them for the next 18 months but then they'll be banned. Um, I was too late planting. This is um, a wonderful winter cabbage and so I don't think anything will come of that. Over here is tundra which are heartening up, but I don't think they'll be big hearts. But again, I'm not that good 
at working out when to plant things, but hopefully I'll improve. In this last bed, uh, it seems the person before me didn't know what to do with it. I've planted something that grew in my garden. Uh, we think it's a tay berry, but again, it had two berries and I ate those two as well, I'm afraid. It's either a tay berry or loganberry, and eventually I will put up posts. Um, this ground gets absolutely saturated and the holes that I've dug tend to fill up with water, so I have to choose my moment. And on this last plot, there's the asparagus, which I put plenty of food on it so that I can have some lovely asparagus next spring, as I did this year. I'll make this as brief as possible because I've still got a lot to learn.